Hi nail friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have another new company to me called Golden Hive Custom Creations, and they actually were called Mommy and Me Nails, but they are going to be rebranding, and I absolutely love their new packaging and the way that they're going with this. Um, I love bees. I know it's super weird, but I absolutely love bees so much. I think that they are just the cutest. I have earrings, coffee cups, um, like decor, and I just, I think that they're just the cutest. So on top of selling their dip powders, they're also selling wax melts. So like the things that go into your like Scentsy or Walmart warmers. And if you are a fan of Bath and Body Works, that Falling Leaves scent is an exact dupe for their leaves scent that they carry during the fall. And it is delicious. I absolutely love it. It is spot on. They also have these cute little nail fee props and it's a bee. I love it so, so much. So here are the other colors that are coming in this release, which is September 1st. They did send me two of the colors, which is what I'm going to be using in this video today. So they have a lot of really awesome fall colors that are coming out on the 1st. And I just wanted to make sure that I included those in the video. So I got those from the owner since I just have these two colors. And in this video, I am using the gel method again. I know that my last couple of videos, I have been using gels and these are from OG Dip Powder. The reason for that is it has been so hot here. And when I use dip liquids, because I have been getting dip flu, I have to use one of those, uh, uh, like the fume mask things. I don't know what they're called, like filtration thingies. And um, it's just too hot here to wear that. Like I still wear a mask so that I'm not breathing in like all of the dip and stuff like that as I'm dipping. I just, I can't wear that big, huge face mask. Like it just, it's too hot. So what I'm doing is just putting a thin layer down of my gel base and then I am pouring over my dip powder, cleaning up around my cuticles because remember that your nails are going to stay wet until you cure them underneath of your UV LED lamp. And with the OG dip liquids, I cure for 30 seconds my base gel and my top coat, I do 60 seconds. So you're going to see later on how I use the base gel and a top coat to encapsulate these dip powders because for whatever reason using the gel method doesn't like clear dip at all like it's like no thank you I do not want any form of clear on my nail working with me like <laughs> so you need to just make sure that you're not uh doing that because your nail is going to come out cloudy trust me I have done it many times so this little tool I'm using is actually from OG Dip Powder as well, just like my gel liquids. So the one side is a precision tool, which is what I was using to clean up my cuticles. And the other end has this wax, uh, like wax tip, I guess. And um, the more you use it, the flatter the top of the tip gets. And it just makes it really easy to pick up the glitter that you want to and place it on your nail. So I think that this tool is really cool. Um, I don't have any issues picking up the glitter that I need to get on my uh, nail. So yeah, and I'm just going to continue on with my dipping process or my gel method process, I guess you can say. Uh, so after every coat of gel base I am pouring over my color and then carrying for 30 seconds so I'm going to let you watch me do that and then I will be back
Okay, make sure also that you're brushing off in between all of your applications. And now we are going to start encapsulating all of these colors and that glitter so that we can file and buff. Right here, I'm just taking a layer of that gel base, which is what I use for the dipping process. And I'm going to add a really nice hefty layer of this, not enough to where it's flooding, but enough that it's gonna start giving me the depth that I need to encapsulate that glitter so that when I'm filing and buffing later, I'm not buffing or messing with that glitter at all. Because if you have never accidentally or on purpose, uh, filed overneath, uh, overneath, <laughs> over top of glitter, uh, the inside of it is like silver. So it takes out all of that. It takes out, oh my goodness, it is so early here. It takes off that shiny, pretty, like iridescent top layer, and you're just going to get a really dull silver look to it. So you don't want to do that so after this I'm going to cure for 30 seconds and then I'm taking my OG dip powder gel top coat and I'm going to put this over top of my nails and cure that for 60 seconds I used to just do two layers of gel base and then I would wipe off that sticky dispersion layer and file and buff my gel base but I found that actually doing the layer of gel top coat instead of doing the two layers of base the gel top coat actually files a lot easier than the gel base and it leaves a like because the gel top coat usually is a little bit thicker than the gel base I have found so I it really encapsulates especially chunky or glitter like this I found so I just have a lot better luck doing the gel top gel base and then the gel top coat so totally up to you personal preference on what you want to do this is just my method so i cured those for 60 seconds and now we're going to start filing while you watch me file i'm just going to show my pinky nail here uh i just wanted to talk a little bit more about the uh company so the owner that i spoke to super super nice um she has really fast reply time and she shipped my what she sent me out really really fast and I would have had this a couple of days ago but as usual um it got stuck in the USPS universe of holding on to packages so um I just got that got this this weekend so that's why this is going up right before the release, but the release isn't until September 1st. So there's still a couple of days to uh, join their Facebook group and follow them on Instagram and all of that to get all of the details for the release. And I, as usual, I will leave everything linked down below so that you can go ahead and join and find all of their information quickly so you don't have to look around for that. As for the dip powders, especially using gel method, I found that I didn't have any issues whatsoever with getting a super pigmented outcome. Usually when you use gel method and you're pouring over the dip powder, you don't get as much of a concentrated pigmented look as you would when you're dipping directly into a jar if you're using like dip liquids. So at the beginning, I showed you my swatches and I used dip liquids for those. And here I'm using the gels and I did not see any kind of difference whatsoever as far as uh, the color payoff, as far as uh, how many dips I had to do, nothing like that. So these were really, really good dips. The packaging is awesome and so ridiculously cute. Um... So yeah, they and they have a lot of really nice colors that are coming out uh, on the first. So make sure you check those out. And I am going to let you finish watching me file and buff. And then off camera, I am going to do my other nails. Oh, never mind. I can see the other part of my video coming. I'm almost done. Okay, so filed and buffed. <laughs> I talked too much. Okay, so as usual, I am going to take my 
rubbing alcohol and get rid of all of those filings so that when I'm putting my uh, top coat on, it is going on without any kind of issues. I go ahead and go right in with my gel top coat, but if you have any issues with lifting, go ahead and do a layer of your base gel, cure for 30 seconds, and then do your layer of top coat and cure that for 60 seconds, and it's gonna hold the gel top coat on better. So I, this is one of those colors, I had a really, really hard time getting a good picture of it. And so at the end, there's gonna be two pictures. One of them is going to be underneath of a ring light, and you're gonna be able to see the actual true color of this like blue teal gorgeousness that I have on my nails. And then the other one is just underneath of my regular desk lamp, how I usually take my pictures. So this is one of those uh, dips, depending on what kind of lighting you're in, it's going to show up a little bit differently. So make sure you stay tuned for those two pictures at the end so you can kind of see. So I cure that for 60 seconds. Look at that amazing shine. And I'm finishing off with my Northern Lights cuticle oil. And yeah, so that is it. The pictures are coming up and I want to thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.